I've always been interested in, um, in Moby Dick as a story and uh, when the opportunity came up to do it at the uh, at the amphitheatre at the stage at Docker, that was a fantastic opportunity. This is a really physical telling of the story. It's been filleted uh, and I think it's fair to say it's based on an adaptation that Nick Lane and I did nearly 20 years ago when I was at Old Truck. And it's exciting, it's got local references, it's uh, a, a, a cast of very, very talented actor musicians, it's a cast of four young actors, four young actresses, uh, all of them are local or have some relationship with the region. And what it tries to do, it, it, it bases itself in the in the uh, uh, what was the central dock in Hull, and it tells the story of the central dock and how the dock was important to part of Hull's fishing, trawling, and and, and whaling legacy. I'm very excited about the uh, prospect of doing Moby Dick out, out in the fresh air. And if it rains a bit, it rains, and if it's a bit windy, it's windy. I mean, we're on the boat of, a, of the Pequod sailing around the world. Well, I'm hoping that since the majority of Moby Dick takes place on the deck of the Pequod, that doing it outdoors can only add to the atmosphere. I mean, there are things that I've put in the script where people can't hear themselves speak because of the noise of the sea, or the storms, or the wind, or the, or the whale's tail splashing. Um, and you know, if there's a bit of traffic noise or people walking past, to me that all adds to the kind of organic nature of this kind of, in a very strange way, outdoor immersive theatre. I'm really excited about it, I've really enjoyed do doing the adaptation, I'm looking forward to working with the young actors and, uh, and uh, if you want to come along, you know, uh, grab a ticket.